Hello everyone and welcome to another GeoDev video. In today's video we're going to be talking about geocoding with Python and we've created two different workflows. The first is geocoding addresses from a CSV and storing those results in ArcGIS Align. In our, in our second example we're going to geocode addresses from a CSV and store those results on our local client. But first, before we get started, you must have a developer subscription account. And if you don't have one, don't worry. You can get one for free at developers.arcgis.com. And we're also going to be using ArcGIS API for Python. So let's get started. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to import our GS module. Okay, That grants us access, gives us access to content and grants access to the system. The next thing we want to do is, since I, I, do, I don't want to expose my password on screen, I'm going to go ahead and use this get pass module. And then working with the CSV, we're going to use Pandas to, to load that. So let's go ahead and pass my credentials to ArcGIS with my username and my mass password. Okay. Then the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to load that CSV in a Pandas data frame, looking at the first 30 rows of records. As you can see, we don't have any lat longs associated with this data set. Now we can integrate this further by calling the shape property to give an accurate count of how many rows and records that we're looking at, which 102 rows with six columns of, 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 of with six columns. And we're going to go ahead and take this CSV and add it an item to ArcGIS online. Now, since we added it as a CSV, we can offload the heavy lifting to ArcGIS online to perform the geocoding operations for us. So we just call the publish method. And now our CSV is published as a feature layer. So let's go ahead and add a map of San Francisco. And let's go ahead and add that feature layer to our map. Click on a point and here we go. We have our, our, our CSV now publishes as a feature layer in our just line. Okay, that's one example of how you can geocode. Um, in our next example, um, we're gonna go ahead and do it on the local client. Uh, but first, to accomplish this, we must load the proper modules. So we're going to work with the ArcGIS geocoding module. And more specifically, we're going to be working with the batch geocoding function. And since we're going to be reading and writing to a CSV, we're going to go ahead and load it, uh, import the CSV module. So kind of similar workflow to before, we must put that, pass our credentials to the system. Okay. And then what we need to do is really understand what are the arguments and parameters of this batch geocoding function here. So here it's gonna take an argument of addresses, which is a list of strings or dictionaries. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use a single line of, of text here, of addresses, and then by default, it returns us at a dictionary. So that's, or you can return it as a feature set, optional. But we're gonna go ahead and use a dictionary. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is, is grab our file location of our, of our data set define the output of our new CSV, and then we're gonna specify a column name for the addresses. So let's go ahead and load that in a pandas data frame here. And the next thing we're gonna do is say, hey, if it doesn't contain a column name for addresses, flag an error. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna conca concatenate the address plus the city and the state into a list. Okay, so let's look at the output of those records. That looks good to me. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that as an argument and pass that to the batch geocoding function. Let's inspect those results. Here we have a list of dictionary keys with address, score, and attributes. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and add a map of San Francisco. Let's go ahead and loop through those results and grab the city and the X and Y coordinates with the short label for the address. Okay, so now since these are returned as a dictionary, uh, to work with these, we need to put them into a list. So now we have two lists for lat, lat chords and long chords. And then basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab the latitude and longitude of the three numbers after the decimal place, and then we're gonna append those to our list here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, one of the great things about Panda is you can add and remove columns. So let's go ahead and create a new column for the long and lats and grab those 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 coordinates now the last thing that we need to do is just output that panda data frame to our csv output file let's open up that csv and here's our csv with the lat longs associated with all our records and that's how you use the batch geocoding function mm -hmm. 